Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, once a seemingly underdog competitor in NASA's commercial space program, is experiencing a remarkable resurgence, potentially leaving Boeing's troubled Starliner in the dust. Recent developments in the successful completion of crucial tests suggest a significant shift in the landscape of commercial spaceflight, placing Dream Chaser at the forefront of reusable spacecraft innovation. The turning point for Dream Chaser appears to be its strategic pivot towards cargo transportation, securing a NASA contract for commercial resupply missions to the International Space Station, ISS. This calculated maneuver allowed the company to focus its resources and expertise on proving its unique design's capabilities, bolstering its position in a field dominated by established players like SpaceX. The company's remarkable resilience in overcoming early setbacks, including legal challenges and development delays, has solidified its position as a force to be reckoned with. The video highlights Dream Chaser's distinctive design, a lifting body configuration reminiscent of a space shuttle. This aerodynamic design, crucial for efficient re-entry and runway landings, offers considerable advantages over traditional capsule designs. The ability to land on conventional runways dramatically reduces logistical complexities and costs associated with recovery and refurbishment, making Dream Chaser a potentially highly cost-effective solution for resupply missions. Furthermore, Dream Chaser boasts an impressive cargo capacity surpassing many traditional spacecraft, making it highly suitable for a variety of commercial and scientific payloads. The innovative design features, including the folding wing mechanism for launch efficiency and the advanced thermal protection system, underscore the company's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space technology. The video emphasizes these technological advancements and their significance in achieving a greater level of operational flexibility and cost effectiveness. However, the path to success for Dream Chaser isn't without its challenges. The recent delay in the launch of the Tenacity Cargo variant, initially targeted for a late 2023 launch, and the ongoing investigation into past Starship flight anomalies, raise concerns about the program's overall timeline and regulatory hurdles. While Dream Chaser's technology and design show promise, the regulatory environment in associated approval processes, along with the need to address remaining technical issues, remain significant hurdles. The video's narrative subtly contrasts Dream Chaser's positive trajectory with the persistent setbacks of Boeing's Starliner program. This comparison highlights the critical importance of consistent performance and overcoming technological challenges in the demanding field of commercial spaceflight. While both spacecraft have encountered setbacks, Dream Chaser appears to be gaining significant momentum with its innovative design, adaptability, and a clear trajectory toward operational capability. The culmination of these factors paints a picture of a company poised to make a significant impact on the space industry. The forthcoming launch of Tenacity signifies a potential turning point, not only for Sierra Space, but also for the broader future of commercial spaceflight. This successful launch, combined with further positive developments in the coming months, could solidify Dream Chaser's position as a critical player in the market, potentially leading to a significant shift in the current landscape. The future of space exploration appears to hinge on innovative design and robust project management, factors that the Dream Chaser appears to master. Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, once a contender in NASA's commercial space program, is making a remarkable comeback. Initially overshadowed by Boeing's Starliner and SpaceX's Crew Dragon, Dream Chaser, rooted in NASA's HL-20 program, has pivoted to cargo transport. This Colorado-based company, formerly known as Sierra Nevada Corporation, successfully secured a contract for commercial resupply services to the ISS in 2016. The journey wasn't without hurdles. Dream Chaser faced setbacks and legal challenges. Despite these early struggles, the company persisted, demonstrating remarkable resilience and ingenuity. Now, its Tenacity cargo variant is slated for its inaugural flight in the third quarter of 2025, marking a significant step in reasserting its role in low-Earth orbit. This resurgence positions Dream Chaser as a key player in the commercial spaceflight sector and a potential alternative to the troubled Starliner. The future of human spaceflight 
and the role of innovative companies like Sierra Space will be significantly influenced by the successful launch of the Tenacity spacecraft. Dream Chaser's journey to prominence hasn't been a smooth one. Initially, development faced challenges and setbacks in securing NASA contracts for human spaceflights. The company's decision to shift its focus to cargo transportation proved critical. This strategic pivot away from the initial human-rated mission profile secured a contract for commercial resupply missions to the International Space Station, ISS. Dream Chaser's design, reminiscent of a small space shuttle with a unique lifting body configuration, stands in stark contrast to the more traditional capsule designs of competitors. This aerodynamic design, offering runway landings and lower G-forces during re-entry, presents significant advantages in terms of flexibility, efficiency, and reduced recovery costs. The key point is that the adaptive strategy of prioritizing cargo missions allowed Dream Chaser to demonstrate its unique strengths and build a strong foundation for future success. Despite early setbacks, the adaptive strategy and the company's commitment to the design allowed it to achieve this crucial pivot. The trajectory of Dream Chaser's development represents a notable example of innovation and adaptability in the commercial space sector. Dream Chaser boasts impressive technical specifications, key to its success. Its significant cargo capacity, exceeding that of traditional capsules, is a major selling point for commercial resupply missions. The foldable wings on the cargo version allow for efficient packing within rocket fairings, maximizing payload space. The emphasis on runway landings and a gentle re-entry profile significantly reduces logistical challenges and costs compared to the parachute-based systems used by some competitors. This unique approach makes Dream Chaser a potentially cost-effective and flexible solution for resupplying the ISS. Further, the technology demonstrates precision and a commitment to maximizing efficiency in all aspects of spacecraft design and operations. The video highlights the impressive engineering behind Dream Chaser, showcasing its versatility and potential for handling a broad range of cargo. Its sophisticated systems, crucial for handling various payloads and environments, underscore the technical prowess of the company. SpaceX's reusable launch system strategy isn't the only factor shaping Dream Chaser's trajectory. The video underscores the complex interplay of technical challenges and regulatory hurdles. Significant delays and setbacks have plagued the program, attributed to issues with launch partners and technical difficulties in developing the necessary systems. These challenges and delays illustrate the inherent complexity of spaceflight and the meticulous attention to detail needed for success. The FARA's ongoing investigation into prior Starship flights adds another layer of scrutiny to SpaceX's ambitious mission timelines. This scrutiny emphasizes the intense regulatory environment surrounding new spacecraft designs. The video highlights that while SpaceX is pushing the boundaries of technology and reusability, navigating the regulatory process remains a critical hurdle. The narrative emphasizes that overcoming these hurdles is just as crucial as engineering innovation. This ongoing investigation and scrutiny reflect the rigorous safety standards required for human spaceflight programs. NASA's role in Dream Chaser's future is a key focus in this segment. The video highlights the vital partnership between Sierra Space and NASA, with the former's involvement in NASA's Artemis program. Dream Chaser's potential to serve as a human landing system for future lunar missions is emphasized. The video also projects Dream Chaser's broader applications including roles in commercial space stations and point-to-point -point cargo delivery. This broader vision positions Dream Chaser not just as a cargo resupply vehicle, but a versatile platform for future space endeavors. The discussions around potential uses in space stations and interplanetary transport underscore the expansive vision underpinning the Dream Chaser project. The potential for human spaceflight applications beyond the current ISS resupply missions is significant signaling a step toward a sustainable and expanding presence in space. The implications for long-term space exploration are discussed. The comparison between Dream Chaser and competing spacecraft like the Starliner reveals distinct design philosophies. Dream Chaser's lifting body design, emphasizing runway landings, offers significant advantages in flexibility and cost-effectiveness compared to the more conventional, capsule-based designs. 
This episode contrasts the unique approach of Dream Chaser with the more established methods used by established players, like Starliner. The video highlights the potential advantages of Dream Chaser's design in terms of ease of recovery, mission planning, and cost savings. However, despite its innovative design, the program's challenges and delays underscore the inherent complexities of developing and launching complex spacecraft. The differences in design philosophy highlight the various trade-offs and considerations involved in spacecraft development. The contrasting trajectories of these programs underscore the multifaceted nature of spacecraft development and the diverse approaches being taken in the race to expand humanity's presence in space. The episode underscores the importance of carefully evaluating design choices, trade-offs, and potential outcomes. Both spacecraft types have demonstrated crucial setbacks in development. Colorado made space plane, Dream Chaser, nearly ready for liftoff after decades of development. After more than two decades of toiling over a space plane called Dream Chaser, Louisville-based Sierra Space is readying it for launch. Attendees of the 40th Annual Space Symposium may recall scale models from years past, but as the Colorado space industry matures so, too has Dream Chaser. It is scheduled to blast off no earlier than May, and excitement among employees like Ken Shields, a senior director in the company's business development group, is palpable. Seeing it in our Louisville manufacturing plant mature over time and grow up from a toddler to an early teen was exciting, he said. Seeing it actually roll into the floor and get set up for its final pre-launch processing here at the Kennedy Space Center, you feel like you're becoming fully operational. Dream Chaser is expected to fly cargo to the International Space Station over seven contracted missions, NASA announced in 2016. A space plane, Dream Chaser launches vertically on a rocket but lands like an airplane, where the space shuttle needed a long 15,000-foot runway. Dream Chaser needs only 8,000 feet, allowing it to land at home in Colorado. Dream Chaser can land pretty much anywhere around the globe that can accommodate something like a 737, Shield said. The first Dream Chaser, called Tenacity, is in Florida undergoing final tests. Though the space station will be retired and deorbited within the next decade, Sierra Space is confident Dream Chaser will become a critical piece of the puzzle as commercial space stations fill the gap. The company employs about 2,000 people, and a small contingent will be present at Space Symposium, sans a large booth. Many are in Florida readying Dream Chaser for its inaugural adventure into space. Known internally as the DC-100, the Dream Chaser is the only space plane capable of landing on commercial runways, meaning it can land almost anywhere in the world. This gives it greater flexibility and reusability compared to other launch systems, according to the company. Originally set to launch last year, issues arose with the Vulcan Centaur rocket, made by the United Launch Alliance, delaying the first launch. But the company is confident Dream Chaser will launch no earlier than May. Dream Chaser was once envisioned as a replacement for the space shuttle and could have carried seven astronauts to orbit. But Sierra Space failed to win the commercial crew contract with NASA and pivoted the design to that of a cargo space plane. Dream Chaser can take more than six tons of cargo to the space station. But as a reusable space plane, it can unload roughly the same amount of waste, which burns up in the atmosphere, and land roughly 2,000 pounds of cargo back on Earth.